earthquakes, over 20,000 of them every year. What that number doesn't tell you is the disruption caused in their wake. Miners trapped underground, fractured water pipes, children cowering in classrooms. That's where earthquake early warning systems come in. Seismologists, developers, and data scientists are working on increasingly advanced solutions to trigger timely alerts and save lives in the community where earthquakes pose the greatest threat. I'm Danielle Banks from the Weather Channel, and as a meteorologist, I'm excited about the potential of one such system, Open EEW. This earthquake early warning system developed by startup Grio includes several core components, sensors that can detect ground motion, a central platform for analyzing that data, and an interface that can rapidly transmit alerts to a range of devices, from mobile apps to wearables. To collect data faster and speed up adoption, the Grio team have released Open EEW as an open source project the code that powers Grio is shared through the GitHub online platform with the stamp of approval from the Linux Foundation. Anyone in the technical community can get involved, whether that's adding their own sensors onto the network or contributing code and fixing bugs. Already, academics, developers, and data scientists from around the world have collaborated on the project, as Andy Mayra, founder and CEO of Grio, points out. The promise of open source is that you can now find these different disciplines all around the world um, and they can all enrich the different components that you need for the early warning system. Uh, and so by those different disciplines, I mean, in an ideal situation, you have an IoT engineer in the detection area, you might have a you know a traditional backend developer or a data scientist who's helping with the algorithms. And then on the, on the last piece, you might have somebody who's creating mobile apps or a Slack uh, bot, uh, or you might even have someone who's creating another hardware device uh, so that it can send alerts as well. So bringing those people together uh, is made much easier by having everything open source. There is still much work to be done, and there are multiple ways the community can get involved. An IBM team has been running field tests in Puerto Rico, an island that has already experienced a large amount of seismic activity in 2020. So the goal with Grillo is to study and determine how long it takes for earthquakes to propagate around the island. So this past Saturday, August 1st, we were able to determine and study the first earthquake coming from Jauco, Puerto Rico, that's in the southern west part of the island, all the way up to Bayamón, which is in the northern part of the island, the metro area. So we measured that it took 18 seconds for the, the wave of the earthquake from Jauco to Bayamon. So 18 seconds is you know, enough time to alert people if they're in unsafe areas in a building that's vulnerable. And this is what it's all about. Even though no one can reliably predict when and where an earthquake will occur, Open EEW opens up new possibilities for the nearly 3 billion people that live within the threat of an earthquake. As is often said in, in, uh, in the field, buildings kill, not earthquakes, which means to say that uh, the shaking itself isn't necessarily life-threatening. It's when you're inside of a building and it falls down, or, you know, damages. And so what we've noticed is that the countries that are disproportionately affected by similar levels of shaking tend to be developing nations where maybe construction isn't as good, the standards aren't followed as, as well. Those countries might not have the resources to build it uh, or, or the political will. And so what we've tried to do is find a way to uh, package it and to standardize it so that those countries can just use the, the system that we've developed rather than having to go through the long decades long process these other countries have started on their own. 